Testing, testing. What's this? A dumb old machine calling me up? What nerve? I'm a busy bear. Ah, Kagatsuchi. I was wondering if it was Minazuki or Kagatsuchi, but Kagatsuchi makes more sense. Assassin, welcome to stream. Forgive me, but I have a favor I must ask of you. Please lift the barriers on this battlefield and allow these people to come inside. Huh? You want to let us in? I want to fight them. I wish to crush all their bonds before my sister's very eyes. What? Oh, for Pete! When you make a copy of a real person, the copy gets all the quirks of their personality, too! Ah! <laughs> well, rather than getting persona fragments from those dried-up old husks, you might get fresher ones from those guys. Persona fragments? Oh, did I say too much? Anyway, let's have a ring change! <laughs> As the voice of the vulgar fake Teddy Teddy calls out, new red- He still calls him Teddy Teddy. New red pillars descend and the old pillars shatter in response. The new pillars drive into the four corners of the room, making this entire place into a fighting arena. You! Are you alright? Yosuke-kun! Chie! We rush over to you and his friends to check on them. Good. None of them seem to be that badly hurt. After confirming they're safe, we turn to face the fake Igus again. Thank you for inviting us in before your battle concluded. But, we're not going to show you any mercy. There is no need to thank you. I am about to eliminate all of you right now, after all. Time for me to make a comeback as well. This is a grudge match now. You guys seem a little different from what I was expecting you to be. But I won't be fooled. I'll protect everyone with all my strength. Absolutely going Labrys here. Always like to have the sisters fight when I can. Final. What's up, loser? Check out my giant, awesome battle axe of death. You're in trouble now. You're in trouble now. I'm sorry, I guess. It has to be this way, though. Labrys is the better robot waifu. I'm sorry to tell you. Stop guarding. Ow. Ow. Yeah, watch out, sucker. You're done up. Dude, I love the uppercut. So good. Igus falls to its knees and its body turns black as it becomes a shapeless mass. I see a hint of pain in Labrys' eyes as she watches. Looks like we won. You, you don't, don't need, need to look, look at me like that. that. Either, Either way, we, we only have, have a limited, limited lifespan. What do you mean? We, we were created for the sole purpose of fighting you. Once that duty has been carried out, all we have left to do is expire. Fighting is your duty. I will not bid you good luck. I wish, I wish for, for my, my master, master to emerge victorious, if possible. With that, the fake Igus loses all cohesion, falling into a dark puddle on the floor. Eventually, that begins to flow upward like a film of syrup being poured in reverse, until it completely disappears. Haven't seen much of this game, is it good? Uh, yeah, what Wolfen said, if you're into fighting games. I'm not really into fighting games, I'm mostly playing this for the Persona characters and story. Story and characters have been pretty good. You know, I got a complaint here and there, but overall, this has been a very enjoyable side story. Both the original Arena one, and the, uh, the Ultimax one so far. Especially, the fact that, like, it led to Labrys existing, because man, Labrys is great. We watch this process to the very end while we think about our troubles. <laughs> Hey, what if we, like, focus on getting Mitsuru down off of the friggin' cross, dudes? Koromaru, who had been sitting at our feet, runs off. That's right, this isn't the time to be sentimental. We have to rescue Mitsuru. Ken and Labrys run to the cross Mitsuru's hanging from. I go with Koromaru to speak to Yu's group. Master! Thank you, Akihiko-san. That was too close. What? What's a dog doing here? I mean, he 
he's adorable, but... This dog has a better character arc and is also just straight up better than you in every way, GA. Put some respect on his name. Sorry for causing you such trouble. It seemed like you were facing quite a difficult fight. Ooh, I'm ashamed to call myself your student. No, I should be thanking you. I'm sorry if you were all worried. I decided to exchange information with you's group about the circumstances leading up until now and the situation in Inaba. They're surprised to learn that Ken and Kuramaru are not only Persona users, but Shadow Operatives. Our conversation turns to the reason why you and his friends were having such a hard fight. Contrary to my suspicions, it seems the three of them made it to this room almost unscathed. Then why did the fake Igus give them such trouble? It's true that Shadows taking our appearance can summon Personas, and there's no mistake that they make extremely powerful opponents. But are they so strong that they could hurt these three skilled fighters that badly? Nah, that's not it. When we got to this weird room, we found Mitsuru-san up on a cross. So Chie and I rushed over to get her down, but there was somebody there. It wasn't the fake Igus? No, I don't think so. I didn't see a face, but the voice sounded like a guy. You didn't see his face? How far away could he have been? Well, he was kind of standing in the shadows. And the moment I saw his red eyes, my whole body froze up like I was petrified or something. Ah, Minazuki. That's right. When I went in to save them, I was attacked by a persona I've never seen before. Red eyes. And a persona? Minazuki. This doesn't make sense. Previously, the enemy said himself that he didn't have a persona. Could this mean that there's someone else helping him? Someone with a persona and powerful enough to overwhelm even you? Mitsuru was here. Perhaps she knows something. I moved to where Ken and Labrys are attempting to get Mitsuru down off the cross, but they appear to be having some trouble. This thing's not coming apart. What gives? It was easy enough to get Akihiko-san off of his. I'm not having any luck either. Damn it, why? Mitsuru-san, please wake up! The two desperately called to Mitsuru while trying to undo the restraints binding her arms and legs. At that moment, Kormaru's uh, stares... I can't read. Koromaru stares fixi fixedly at the door and gives a low growl as if to warn us. My man Koromaru always coming in clutch. What's wrong, Koromaru? Is someone there? Someone's coming this way. Footsteps approach at a leisurely pace down the hallway. As they grow louder, the tension here in the entrance hall increases. Eventually, the footsteps stop. A shadow reaches from the doorway all the way to the center of the room. It wavers in the illumination of the fog. Oh. It can't be. You're... So I wasn't seeing things. Shuji Akutsuki. The most forgettable villain in Persona history. An unforgettable betrayal, very forgettable, and unfathomable insanity. He liked puns, so that, yeah, that is unfathomable. Seeing him again, the spitting image of when I last saw him brings back what he said. The death of everything, but also the beginning. Three years ago, we made extreme sacrifices to put an end to his plans. Does this mean he's come crawling out of HFIL to torment us once again? That's an interesting to-be-continued moment. Revived Insanity. Oh boy, here we go. 51% complete. We've gotten everything on the top half here. I would consider, like, this little spot right here kind of to be, like, the halfway point since it's at 51%. So we just have down here the lower half of episode Persona 3 to go. We're, we're chugging along, lads. We're getting there. Shuji Akutsuki. This room that Akiko-san called the entrance of HFIL. Koromaru-san remains in a cautious posture and waits to see what the person who just entered the room will do. Akiko-san pales and Ken couldn't stands frozen next to me. Ah, Akihiko and Ken. It's been a while. Are you enjoying this? I'm very surprised that they've got this Ikaku- Ika- I can't read. I can't talk. Iku- Ikatsuki- Ikatsuki? I can't say his name now. I can't believe that they've got Forgettable Pun Man coming back so much in Episode Persona 3 when he didn't show up even slightly in Arena or Episode Persona 4 in Ultimax. Akutsuki, there you go, I can say it. It's like Akatsuki, but way more lame. You! So you were the one behind this after all. Now don't glare at me like that. This is the perfect place for our reunion. 
It was quite troublesome to prepare. The one you're taking great pains to find will be the one giving you great pains. Or something like that. <laughs> Shuji Yakutsky, without waiting for us to respond, he continues to speak. We're finally reunited, and I don't even rate a hello. Or do you not want to speak to someone you killed? Is that it? Huh? Killed? Ah, you must be the fifth generation weapon Labrys. Poor thing. Didn't they tell you? That's right. They killed me. Of course, since I'm standing right here, I guess they almost killed me would be more precise. Yeah, uh, he's leaving out the part where he uh, tried to end the entire world, also took control of Igus forcefully, and crucified most of Seas. That's ridiculous! You're the one who lied to us and tried to kill us! Calm down, Ken. He destroyed himself. He can't possibly still be alive. Who are you really? Oh, how cruel. Here I am, talking right before your eyes, and you still won't believe it. Why don't we ask the three who just arrived what they think of this? We hear footsteps approaching from behind and turn around to see Yukari-san, Junpei-san, and Igus tumble in. Ah, oh, the gang's all here. Can we please get my girl Mitsuru off of the cross? Just like Ken could and Akiko san they're at a loss for words when confronted with the person standing in the center of the room. Ikutsuki, no way! How are you? Though the two of them are surprised, Igus looks over at me. That's right, we can tell. Don't be fooled, everyone. I can feel it. What's standing there is... Indeed, that is not Ikutsuki-san. He's a fake, created by a shadow. Huh. Just a foolish trick. That's what I thought. <sighs> ah, well. You're a piece of junk, but you have a good nose, huh? You could have let me play around for a little while longer. With a sudden change in mannerism and a few muttered words, the thing taking on Shuji Ikutsuki's appearance crumbles. Behind the melting figure stands another person who had not been there a moment ago. He appears to be a young man around the same age as Yukun and his friends. What appears to be a Yasugami high uniform is tied around his waist. What could this mean? Is he another student at this school? A pair of scars crosses, crosses his face, and he smirks while toying with the two swords he carries at his waist. Who are you? So everybody connected to Kuijo's here, huh? The looks on your faces are hilarious! You talk the big talk, but deep down, you were totally freaking out over Oli Kutsuki chan <laughs> I couldn't see your faces in person last time, though. You remember, don't you? It was when I took control of that scrap like the puppet it is. Yo, does anyone in chat know the name of this track that's playing right now? I want to listen to this later. This is bumping. <laughs> you were behind the abduction of Labrys then. Yeah, it was a crazy performance, huh? That weapon took a lot of whipping. <laughs> uh, you need an introduction or something? My name's Sho, Sho Minazuki, and I'm behind all this. Welcome to my world, Kirijo Lackeys. Sho Minazuki? Sho Minazuki? That name sounds familiar. It was in the data that Kikuno-san gave me before we descended on this town. A name from Shuji Akutsuki's files. It seems this young man has a connection to Ergo Research after all. What is the meaning of this? What are you setting us all up like this for? Huh? What are you whining about, you little shit? I was letting you have some fun. It's a little entertaining. Seems to be called the Joker Persona 5! That's crazy. Oh, uh, I guess I do have a score to settle with you. Akutsuki was my dad after all. Dad? That's impossible. There's no way a woman would ever lie with that guy. You're lying. He didn't have any kids. Doesn't matter. I'm still going to kill you all. Ken <laughs> doesn't even deny it. He's like, yeah, I'm lying. Whatever. I'm still going to stab you. <laughs> the young man draws his swords and the light glints off them. His eyes gleam with glee. The mania of madness. So this man, he's the one behind this entire case. Or is he? Toying with people and hurting them like this. What are you trying to accomplish? Huh? I've had enough. If you're hurting from your dad being killed, I get that. But is this the only way you can deal with it? Labrys, it's 
Suru-san's people are risking their lives to try to end this tragedy themselves. They're doing their best to take responsibility for what happened. And I already know that your Ikutsuki guy lied to Mitsuru-san, betrayed them, and... Shut up, you goddamn puppet! <laughs> You've never even met him, so enough with your shit! Or what? Are you gonna lecture me like you're a real person? What a joke. You bastard! But don't get the wrong idea now. I already told you that I don't give two shits about Akutsuki. He used me and threw me away, that asshole. <sighs> it doesn't matter. See, all you bastards are in my way. Every single living thing is in my way. Every goddamn thing! Can you please stop trying to demonetize my YouTube videos? What? What are you talking about? That's just insane! <laughs> I'm insane? It's this world that's insane. All this bullshit about the power of friendship and close bonds and whatever. It's a pile of garbage. Trash! Bastards, die! Just go away forever, goddammit! I'll get rid of every last one of you. I'll annihilate you along with this entire world! My heart hurts. I wonder why. I sense a resonance of a plume of dusk from the young man, and it's giving off emotion. Hatred? No. Sadness? He wants the world, but at the same time rejects it. This intense mixture of solitude with despair and yearning. I felt this. What? I know this emotion. Labrys? It's... He doesn't truly hate the world. What he really feels is... Labrysson, look out! <laughs> Koromaru-san tackles me and I fall sideways. Koromaru's level of strength is unbelievable. How much does Labrys weigh? She's a robot. It's gotta be a ton, right? Aid, thank you for the cheer. Greatly appreciated. A giant knife is vibrating in the floor right where I had been standing only seconds ago. Don't say another word, you failure. <laughs> oh, what a drag. I'm tired of this. Well, I've already got enough persona fragments anyway. Persona fragments? Wait, do you mean... Persona Fragments, those are the same words General Teddy used earlier. The young man calling himself the mastermind behind all this, the fakes whose sole purpose was to fight us, the flakes of light emerging from the defeated shadows. All of those now make sense to me. Most likely the rest of us are feeling the same way. Sho was gathering Persona Fragments by making us fight our doubles. The moment we all reach that conclusion, Sho pulls out a small box and holds it before us. So it's time to get the real show started. Here's a question for you. What do you think this is? That's... Is that the remote Akutsuki was using when he controlled Igus? Thank goodness Ken said that because I had no idea what I was looking at. No. Stop him! Too late. Activating the anti-shadow suppression weapon. Labrys! I feel a sudden snap within me. Suddenly, I lose control over my entire body. At the same time, my consciousness begins to fade as if I'm being painted over by something else. It's that infernal device that took over my body and forced me to hurt the others, just like the other day. It gnaws at my mechanical body, and all my self-control begins to slip away. Labrys! Labrys! <laughs> this is fun! Oh, by the way, I didn't stick a device in it or anything to do this. A weapon is there to be controlled, so, of course, there's a remote control. It's been built into that thing from the very beginning! <laughs> I told you I'd destroy everything, right? Friendship? What a joke. One push of a button, and it all means nothing! Sister, please pull yourself together. <gasps> I scream internally at myself to stop, but my arm swings my axe at Igus and sends her flying away. Igus! Now! <laughs> you just won't die, will you? That's not good enough. Ugh. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> no, not Kormaru! Kormaru's son leaps at Sho and tries to snatch the box away from him. You couldn't and his friends follow, but Sho deals with them all in a single strike. This boy is strong. <laughs> not one of you's coming to help, huh? You couldn't anyway. My remote controller's more of a remote. Control her! Kill me. <laughs> Kidding! I hate this guy. Now, Labrys, 
kill the scion of Kirito first. <laughs> you specialize in tearing apart your companions, right? Sho jumps back to a safe distance, then sends me an order to do just that. My legs move against my will and send me towards the crucified Mitsuru-san. No! No, I'm not your puppet! I have a heart of my own! <laughs> a heart? Like I give a crap. You want me to erase all that too, then? He manipulates the small box again with a rackus laugh. Ra rackus? Rashus? Racketball? The power restraining me intensifies, and I can feel myself slipping away against the torrent of commands blasting into my mind. The blade of my axe is against the cross Mitsurasan is bound to. Stop! 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 Please! No! Uh, Labyrinth! Damn it, you son of a bitch! If it's tough for you to hurt your companions, then I'll blast your consciousness into nothing! So hurry up and tell them! An even more forceful command overtakes me. Mitsuru-san, Yukun, Kenkun, Yukari-san, Chie, everyone, oh my goodness, so many names. I try desperately to hold on to my thoughts, but it's mercilessly torn away. I lose all feeling of the weight of my axe in my hands, and my vision begins to waver. Oh, her eyes have gone gray, too. I'm gonna destroy those I hold dear again. Labrys, don't give up! Don't Believe give up. in yourself! Believe in yourself! The last thing I see through my fading consciousness is Yukun. I don't want to feel this way ever again. I don't want to give up. I won't. 